Hey, how y'all doing out there in YouTube land? This is Stiletto coming at you from the Wild Wild West. Got an unboxing for you today. This one's one that I've been waiting on for a long time. Some of you may know what I'm talking about because I think I discussed it with a couple of you guys. But I've been waiting on it a long time. It's finally here. It came in from Amazon. The box is a little bit messed up on this end. I hope the, the product's okay. Not in the best of shape. But anyway, doing the unboxing today. It's going to be my EDC of late. Yes, my Atlas Lock and Gauge. Three and a half inch up blade Atlas Lock and Gauge. Yeah, I must say I absolutely love this knife. Absolutely love it. Awesome knife. Highly recommend them. To anybody that's interested in one, I highly recommend it. Beautiful knife. Alright, but that's not what we're talking about, is it? Yes. It's a Russian knife. His liar. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. His liar. <laughs> it's the one that tops use when they as a as a knife that they were designing after for the um wild pig hunter. I had to wait on this one a couple of months. It must have came from Russia. So you can still get these. You just may have to wait on them. This is Amazon. Oh, it's beautiful. This way it comes. Nice leather sheath. Ah, oh, that's nice. That is really nice. I didn't get this one to be a wilderness knife or anything like that. I just got it because I wanted to collect it. For my combat knife collection. As y'all know, I like my combat knives. But look at the pommel on that. This is the one that was designed for the Russian Special Forces from what I've read about it. There's the blade. I want to compare it to the Wild Pig Hunter. And this is called the Phoenix One. The other one I have is the Phoenix Two. I'm going to take a look at that one too and compare it to this one. Let's set this box somewhere else. Let's set it over here. Let me see the Phoenix 2. Let's pull up the Phoenix 2. And compare the sheaths. And where's my wild pig hunter? Alright. Break out my wild pig hunter over here. Where's the zipper? That's where I'm keeping my big knives. <laughs> my big uh, field crafting knives or whatever you call them. Outdoorsman knives. I'm actually using. Whoa, they do look the same. They do look the same. Let's set the sheaths over here somewhere. Sheath came from just a sheath maker, eight, on eBay. For the wild pig hunter. And also, I'm going to look at this one, doesn't have a plastic insert 
for the, the Phoenix one. It doesn't have a plastic insert. It has like uh, a, a person doing a pig hunt, a wild boar hunt. Huh. So I wonder if it is a wild boar hunting knife. I don't know. In um, Russia. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me zoom out a little bit. Maybe you guys can see a little better. Try to hold it still so you can focus. I hope you guys can see that. It's pretty neat. And on this side, it's just a, um, know, just a pattern. And it has, it says Phoenix on the sheath. And a lot of Russian stuff I, I, that I can't understand. Yes, my sweetie. Mm hmm I see you, Juju. Grandpa sees you. Okay, then let me let Juno get her hugs. Yes, my girl. Hmm? Okay, Carol. Go ahead and get down, sweetie. Come on, get down. That's my girl. But these, these are the exact same size. This one has a thinner blade stock. The tops has a lot thicker blade stock. Tops is a quarter of an inch. I think these are supposed to be like 5.4 millimeters thick. Let's measure them out and see what the difference is. But yeah, it does look exactly like the the top, the top knife does look pretty much exactly like the Russian combat knife. That's why I wanted to get these, just because I, I wanted to compare it to my tops, because I, I, I saw that the tops was designed after the Russian combat knife. That the soldiers and special forces get. Okay, this one. They're all zeroed. 5.75 Yep, 5.75 This one 5.35 So that's like 5.4 So this one's the 5.4 one And this one's a little bit thicker And this one 6.7. Let's re zero again just to make sure. Okay. The 6.05. So six millimeters. So they're pretty, they're pretty. Close in, in um, thickness too. They're not that far off in thickness. This one is supposed to be a, a Y8 steel. Let me see if it's, it says Y84 it looks like, Y84. And, the, and, uh, and Russian Y8 is supposed to be like um, 1070 HC. So it should, it's supposed to be, you know, really, really tough. I saw a video of a person doing like destruction stuff on this one and they couldn't destroy it. They were throwing it and all sorts of stuff. And, and I think, I think it was a Slavic person. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure, but, um, but yeah, they were, they were putting it through, putting it through a ringer and it held tough. It didn't, it didn't get damaged. But these are very, very much alike. I wonder if this one's gonna fit in this. Feels like it's gonna start rubbing, so I'm not gonna stick it in. Oh, it's got a thick tip, that's why. The tip is thick. Is the tip thicker? No, 
the tops has a thick tip too. I think the Russian tip looks thinner than tops thick tip. Let you guys look at the blades. These are both beautiful knives though. I'd be, I'd be happy to have either one of these in combat. And they're, both of these are full exposed tang. This has an exposed full tang. This one has like a, a skull crusher on the end of it. The top's handle feels longer. I'm putting the, I'm putting them to um, guard to guard. The top's blade is a little bit longer. Let's measure that out. Cause I thought, I thought the Russian one was gonna be longer to tell you the truth. The Russian one is a touch over eight inches long for the blade. The tops one is in the same thing, like a touch over eight inches long. The tops blade is a little bit longer though. Let me line them up on here. And then line these guard to guard. It's about a, a sixteenth of an inch longer. It's just barely a little bit longer. And the handles, if you go all the way to the, the skull crusher, it's five inches. And this one's five inches also. Total length. A little bit over 13 inches, like 13 and an eight. Thirteen and like a sixteenth or something. They're both about the same size. They're really about the same size. That's awesome. So the only real big difference in these blades, you know, the grinds are a little bit different. You know, what I mean, the the way they ground the blades, but anybody could see where you know this knife came from. These have hollow ground blades. They have like a, a real deep hollow ground blade. This one has a saber ground blade. I don't know if we can show you one at a time. Can you see the hollow grain? They're both high carbon blades. The Wild Pig Hunter is a 1095 HC, not 1095 CV, it's a HC blade. So it's got the old school 1095, which is extremely tough. and easy to resharpen in the field. And these are differentially heat treated so the ed it holds a good edge. Let's see how this one's saber ground. I think this is a tougher blade. If I was gonna pick which one I thought would be tougher, I would pick, I would pick the tops knife. But this one's a real tough blade too. This one might actually even slice better because of the hollow grind. It might be actually better for like using it as like, you know, like a food prep or stuff like that. This one would be better at probably batoning wood because of the saber grind. And it's like a low saber grind or mid saber grind. So it'd probably really split the wood pretty nicely with a thick, you know, six millimeter blade stock. But this is 5.7 or 5.8 millimeters. So it's almost just as thick as this one. This one looks thicker though. Just by, you know, looking at the blade stock, it looks thicker. This one has like some serial numbers on the top of it. Beautiful blade. And it's got a, a micarta handle. I think it's supposed to be canvas micarta. If I'm not mistaken. 
black canvas micarta. Might be linen micarta though. I don't know. It feels really smooth. It feels smoother than canvas micarta. So it might be. This is a canvas micarta. I'd say this might be linen micarta. But the way the way it's done, it looks like wood. The way that they um, because it's a contoured micarta handle, and it feels really good in hand. You wouldn't have to buy any more handles for this one. Actually, the handle feels better than the top's knife. It feels more comfortable than the top's knife. If I had to do some chopping or something like that, I would rather have this handle, like the Russian handle, or the top's knife handle. I would prefer this one to have a handle more like this one that's a, a contoured. I just like the contoured handles myself. So maybe I'm just being a little bit biased because all my other field knives have, have contoured handles. But this is supposed to be a pig hunter. It's not supposed to be a field knife. <laughs> Absolutely love them, people. Yeah, there they are. That's my Phoenix One. Let's put it up here with the Phoenix 2. This is the Phoenix 2. And this is a full tang knife too, but the, the handle's over molded. In the, what do you call it? The, the, the steel tang is over molded with Creighton and some sort of polymer. Polymer then Creighton. Just like cold steel does. And it's an Oz 8 blade. Japanese Oz 8. I hope it's Japanese Oz 8. I'm not sure if it is. But this one's razor sharp. Let's see how sharp this one is. I don't have any paper out here today, people. I'm sorry. No paper out here. <laughs> I bet you it's sharp, though. This one came razor sharp. Let's see how many she's weigh, huh? Phoenix one was at 12.3 ounces. I want to weigh this real quick too because I think the other day I said it was 5.9. I keep seeing everywhere they're supposed to be like 5.6. I mean, that's 6.5 6 or 6.6. 6 6.5, it's not 6.9. I was reading it wrong. I can see it's a 5 now, so it's 6.5 ounces for my Atlas lock and gauge. Three and a half inch blade and gauge. And this one was 12.3. Let's see how, how heavy the tops is. 14 point. I can't see it. I gotta move it so I can see it. 14.1. So it's a lot heavier. And this one, nine point seven. Hmm. Now, if you're a soldier and you have to carry a bunch of other gear, this one sounds this one sounds like a, a very nice knife. Because actually, these aren't really that much longer than this one, to tell you the truth. Just by looking at them, it's like maybe an inch difference. This one has a. Go all the way to guard, it's six and seven eighths. So it's almost a seven inch blade. This one's an eight inch blade. And this one's an eight and eight and a quarter, no, eight and an eighth inch blade. So this one's longer. I thought it was longer. But it's about an inch difference in blade and, and reach. And these knives are a lot more heavier than this one. Something to think about. Let's see how much it weigh in the sheaths. Because I'll tell you how much it weigh if you had to carry it. Twelve point 
12.9. 12.9 for the Phoenix 2. Let's see what the Phoenix 1 weighs in its sheet. 12.9. Let's see what the Phoenix 1 weighs in its sheet. 15.5. 15.5. This is actually a custom sheet for this one. Get the whole sheath on there, huh? One pound, eight point eight point four, eight point four ounces. One pound, eight point four ounces. <laughs> so that's a lot more weight, huh? Yeah. I don't know, these are these are some beautiful blades. All these are beautiful blades. This one could withstand the elements a little bit better too. I like the way it has a plastic insert inside the sheath. This one doesn't have a plastic insert inside the sheath. It's just a very tough feeling leather. I don't know, some beautiful blades, people. It makes me like my wild pig hunter even a little bit more because I see where it came from. This is where it came from. This was the first one, and then they thought it was too big, so then they made this one next. But this was the original one. This is the OG for these. And then they made like a, a, a different version with the handle that's um, a lighter micarta. But it's one of these also. I've seen those on Amazon also. Absolutely love them. It looks like this one should have like black screws. Though. I don't know why they have the, the shiny, shiny screws like that. Shiny hardware. Looks like stainless steel hardware. That's been polished. It seems like you wouldn't want that. It seems like you'd want it to be all blacked out like the hardware is on the, um, the Wild Pig Hunter. This one feels the best in hand. This, this grip right here feels better than both of these. And it's the least fancy grip. <laughs> it's it's over molded. It feels like, you know, like a cold steel grip, like a, like one of the, the, the Magnum Tonto grips or a Coban or the Outdoorsman or the, um, what other ones? The Recons and the SR1s. I love these over molded grips. They just feel really good in my hand. I know it's a, it's a less expensive way to do a grip. It's not as fancy or whatever, but if you want something for a work knife or you know for a duty knife, I think that how comfortable the grip is in your hand, how, how, how good and confident it makes you feel when you hold it, I think that's an extremely important factor. This one feels good too, but it's got some hot spots on the end. On the pommel part of this sandal, I can feel hot spots because it's like a lot of sharp edges, a lot of points. So the end of it doesn't really feel that good on my hand. And in reverse grip, uh-uh. I don't like this one in reverse grip because that like totally stabs my finger, my thumb. In reverse grip, I always like to have my thumb over the pommel if you're stabbing into something because you don't want to take the chance of your hand sliding onto the blade. So that wouldn't be my first choice. I like this one better. Now this one feels a lot more comfortable even in the reverse grip. This one feels the most comfortable. <laughs> Very cool. But you know what? This one is the most comfortable. This is a Demko style handle. <laughs> I, I shouldn't be saying that. This knife is awesome. Okay, that's enough of that. I really like the Atlas lock. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not. I like the Atlas lock, the, the three and a half inch blade and gauge. I haven't tried any of the others, so that's the only one I know about. I got two of them. And that's the one I've been carrying every day. And it operates just like a, any ball bearing knife. Once you break it in, you tune it just right. It's 
beautiful name. But there they are, people. I don't have anything else to say about these. I absolutely love them. Awesome knives. These are like daggers without having daggers. <laughs> They're sort of like the old school Civil War Arkansas toothpick. You guys go take a look at that. The Arkansas toothpick was like a big dagger. Some people call it even a Bowie knife, but I wouldn't call it a Bowie knife. But to me, that was the Arkansas toothpick. Bowie knife is a, more of a clip blade, not a dagger blade. A lot of people call Bowie knives any knife that's big. A big oversized knife, they would call it a Bowie knife. But I, I sort of disagree with that. Because if something's a dagger, it's a dagger. If something's like a, I don't know, if something's like a cleaver, it's a cleaver. And just because it's big doesn't make it a Bowie knife. You know what I mean? Bowie knives, to me, it's supposed to have a clip blade. But anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope everybody's doing good out there. I got a, I got a couple more in that I want to do videos of. And um, one for Lucky. I got one more for Lucky. I still got to do I have one more knife that Lucky loaned me to make videos of. So I have one more of those to do. Anyway, that's about it for today. Peace out, Stiletto. Hope everybody's doing good.